super budget camera is versus very professional camera system. Hey guys, I'm Brad and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Anaconda by Fiberscope versus the Viver. Now these are both sewer cams. I'm going to take a sort of a versus approach to this. I already did an in-depth video on this camera right here. So if you want to check that out, we already did that one. And I did this one a long time ago as well. So if you want to see more in-depth, more information on both of them, see them in use, we'll link to those videos below. So let's just start off by taking a look at both of them. Physically, obviously the Viva is a lot smaller than the Anaconda. The cable line is a lot thinner. It's about half the size of this Anaconda right here. Now they both have monitors. They both have lights on the ends. I'm gonna open this up for you. This one is 150 feet long of cable and the Anaconda is 197 feet in cable length. Close in cable lengths, but definitely different in size. With the Viver, you're getting a nine inch screen. With the Anaconda, you're getting an eight inch screen. They both can be charged up and used wirelessly, so you don't have to be plugged into power. So that's great, and run times are kind of the same, give or take a few hours. They both have the same idea. You turn them on, you press record, you shove them down a line, and you can see what's going on in your sewer. Now, the big difference between the two off the bat is the actual line. Because this is thinner, it's a little bit more flexible than the heavier line. That also being said, you get very few attachments with the Viver. So the Viver, you're getting this small guide right here. You're also getting another guide that doesn't have any rollers on it. And that's kind of the extent of this unit. Now with this unit, you're getting a whole whack of, of uh, different connections. We've got this one right here, which easily fits into a four inch sewer line. And then behind me, we've got a whole bunch more different options here. Now these won't fit into four inch sewer lines. These are for larger lines, like commercial lines. We've got this little guy, this will fit into a four inch and this one will fit into a four inch. So the idea is your camera mounts into here, just like I have on this unit. I can unscrew it just so you can see. This just protects your camera. And we're gonna talk about the cameras as well, because that's another big difference. But this just screws on, this clips off like so. You can retract that and then you can take your camera head off as well. So there's a lot more options as far as your heads go, protecting your camera, which is super important. Now, this has a little case to keep everything in, which is great. This unit all comes apart, so the monitor comes off, the keyboard comes off, and it all fits into this bag right here. You can put your cameras in the bag, you can put the monitor, the keyboard, and a bunch of little goodies. This comes with an SD card on the Viver, and this comes with a USB card for the Anaconda. This one here, you can also hook headphones up to it so you can hear what's going on. This one, you cannot. So you're starting to see some differences. So for portability, they're both great. This one's a little smaller. This one can compact. You've got the ability to move the screen around. These cords are all going into the uh, camera itself, and the other cord goes right here into the counter for the cable. So that's another huge difference between the two. This one, you're getting an actual inch by inch readout. It's even smaller than that on your screen, which is being recorded onto your drive. This one, the actual recording of the footage is on the actual cable here. So you can see, you know, there's 20 feet right there. So you have to keep an eye on the cable and that's the only way to track the you know the length that you're putting into the pipe is just looking at the numbers on the line now that could wear out over time if you're using this a lot whereas this one it's not going to wear out because it's deadly accurate that's one major difference between the two another major difference is the keyboard this keyboard allows you to write whatever you need to on the video or on a picture so that's a huge huge benefit when you're doing these reports, let's say you are doing a major report for a client, uh, maybe it's the city, whoever it is, to be able to write down exactly what you're seeing, any issues, things like that, that's really, really important. This unit, you can't. You gotta be writing it down on a piece of paper or your iPad or whatever, marking down the footage, 
and then recording what you're seeing as you go. One big difference there. The keyboard on this is also wireless, so you can move it around. Do not have to have it connected at all. There's batteries in this thing. It connects via Bluetooth seamlessly. There's no like connection thing. It's just instant. So that's another benefit with this guy. Now let's look at the camera heads. The camera head on this is replaceable. You can buy new ones. This does unscrew if you damage it. So that's really nice. This is super flexible. So you could get in to tighter spaces. You can see the flex on the line. I can get pretty tight radiuses. So good for small pipes. I'm not going to say inch and a half pipes, but you know, three inch pipes you can get through in here and you can get this head jammed into different corners. I've done that before. So that does work. You've got LED lights around the front of the camera. You got a decent looking screen when, when you're taking video so you can see exactly what's going on in your pipe. And then again, when you slip this on, you have these nylon screws on the side which clamp it down onto the actual camera. This is a totally different game. These cameras are huge. I'm gonna unscrew this. You cannot fit this unit down a three inch pipe with the attachments that they've given me. Now you could just put the camera down a three inch pipe by itself and I'm sure I can get a shroud to protect this, but this is the size of the camera. This is all stainless steel. It's all out of aluminum as well. So this thing is not gonna rust ever. I'm really confident in that. Now we've got three LED lights and three LED lights right there. So that's a total of six. This particular unit rotates 360 degrees as well as the head can pivot. And that is all controlled by the screen here with these arrows, these four arrows instantly allow you to maneuver the head. The other camera we have is mounted on the side here. So this camera has two cameras on it. It's a little bit smaller, same type of material construction. So, you know, we're confident it's not gonna rust out. This is a lot lighter, but this camera does not articulate like this one does. We've got a front facing camera and a side facing camera, and we've got some rotation. A little bit smaller, you can see the size difference. I really like the larger unit because of the articulating head. This actually helped me take a look at my own pipe where the Fernco had shifted a little bit. I couldn't quite tell what it was looking straight forward, but when I could tilt up and down, I could see it was still intact and it was, it was okay, but I had forgotten that there was a Fernco there that was connecting the two. Big difference between the cameras. You can see right off the bat, the Viver, nice small little camera, but these ones are a lot brighter and a lot more detailed. The camera itself, you're getting a real clear image. I really like it. And the ability to articulate is, is huge. Now let's talk about the cable and the reel system. This one is really easy to use. You just undo this bottom tension knob right here and you can pull it out. It really wants to just come out effortlessly. Putting it back in, super easy. I can just push or I can pull. So you can see how easy this is. This whole unit again is all stainless steel construction. So we're not gonna have any rusting issues. The cable can also come out of the counter. So it's really easy. You just undo this knob and it pops right out of the counter. So when you're driving around, it's not banging and wrecking the pulley system. So you can just store it a little safer. Now this unit is on a reel as well. So you just pull it out like this and you can push it in. So the function is very similar. It's just a lot smaller cable as far as the gauge goes, but you can see it's really easy to push in and out as well. The only difference is this one is on the ground laying flat. This is just the lock right here. So you just put it in and it won't move. Whereas this one's sitting more vertical. You could sit this up like this. However, when you open up the screen, your screen is gonna be down here. So it's kind of whatever way you wanna work this thing, but it, this is more designed to be functioning, sitting down like this. So I don't have a real issue with that, but again, I think this one is a little bit easier to use and I love having the counter. So now let's take a look at costs. So this unit right here is well under a thousand dollars. Depending on the length you get, Viva offers different lengths. This is the 150 foot. So I've seen this for around 500 US dollars. 
but I know the range is always changing. This unit is a lot more. This is in the thousands of dollars. It's above $5,000 if I remember correctly. You're getting a major, major difference in price, but you're also getting a higher quality tool. In my honest opinion, I think this is for your professionals that are scoping every day and have to have very detailed reports. They have to be able to go back and look at footage. They have to trust that this thing is gonna hold up really well in a sewer system, especially when you get out to those 150 plus foot lengths and you gotta, you know, jerk on this thing really hard because maybe it gets snagged on a broken pipe or maybe you're going off on some weird angle because someone's put in a 90 and you get snagged in there. You gotta trust that you can reef on this thing and it's not gonna come apart. This is good, don't get me wrong. I really like this. The only issue I have are the nylon screws on here. I feel like if I had to reef on this really hard, I might leave this behind. Now, I don't know, I've never done that before, but when you screw this onto the head, there's no groove on the camera here that the screws lock into. So I feel like if you have to reef on this thing, and you can see I can just move this back and forth, you're just relying on the tension of the screws that you're putting against the camera head. You could end up losing this in the sewer. You know, if you just flush down the sewer, you're gonna lose it in the sewer line and it's not a big deal, right? There's bigger things in the sewer line. However, if you've got some funky turns and things like that that aren't normal, you might get yourself into a bit of a jam with something like this. That being said, it's still a really good camera. I'm not knocking it, I'm just saying, if you do get into a jam, you might have a problem. This, again, is a larger unit. You've got way larger heads like these guys and these guys compared to this, you know, there's a real big difference there. These, again, are gonna be for your commercial pipes. Residential is typically a four inch drain line coming from the house to the sewer line, at least it is in my city. Keep that in mind when you're trying to decide what kind of camera to get. The other big difference you can write on this, you've got the counter here, so you can exactly determine how far out from the property line you're having an issue, you know exactly where to dig, especially if you have to hydrovac, this camera could be really, really beneficial. Overall, I know I'm comparing two totally different price ranges, but I wanted to show you what a super budget camera is versus you know, a very, very professional camera system that you can rely on with images, with the keyboard, with the camera system. And this especially for me is the highlight of the whole system is the ability to rotate the head 360 as well as up and down. This is a game changer for so many reasons. You know, you can just go down the line and you can see all around, see the cracks, know exactly what you have to do for repair and get a very detailed report while you're doing it. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell. Until next time, keep on crushing it, and we'll catch you later.